Hey YouTube, so um, I wanted to talk about a couple of concealers because I did see a video a while back um, about a Sonia Kashuk and a MAC concealer comparison. Um, and I don't have the MAC concealer, but I have a Benefit concealer here. And I went out, like, right after I saw that, um, that video, I went out and I bought the Sonia Kashuk video because, or the concealer. This is what I got, the Sonia Kashuk, um, what is this? The full coverage, all covered up concealer. I'm in, uh, Porcelain 01. I think there's only, like, four colors in this, so I got the, um, what is it? Palest one. Because I'm really pale. And it matches my skin color amazingly, but it's really greasy. Like it's got a very greasy texture. And mixed with the um, Lumi foundation that I wear, it got into the creases. Like I would put on my foundation first and I would put some under my eyes just to see if maybe that'll cover up and I won't need concealer that day. And if I would, then I would put on my concealer. And with the concealer, it would just, like, it didn't settle right, and it settled into the lines, and that's so frustrating because as I'm a 21-year-old now, you don't want to look like you're 30 years old with a whole bunch of eye wrinkles. So, at first I was in love with it, right? Like, it covered up beautifully, blah, blah, blah. But then I started using it with my Dream Matte Mousse Foundation from Maybelline, and it worked a little bit better, but then the finish on that was kind of weird. It was kind of powdery. So I ended up, like, I really, and then, like the girl in the video said, look at how, like, like, look at how big this pot is, and then look at how big, like, you have, to, I use my ring finger, amazingly it fits in there, but you'd have to use, like, a brush to get in there, like, it's too small, like, it's, it's really, it's a very weird packaging, but whatever. So I'm not really big on this. So then, um, I was at Sephora. I recently turned 21, so I had a birthday gift I could pick up from there, and I was looking at the Benefit section, and I saw the Erased Paste from Benefit, and it says it's a brightening camouflage for eyes and face, and it conceals and brightens in one easy step, poof, I'm perfect, or whatever. And um, it's like right above the Boing concealer, I think. Uh, I am in number one, fair, and they only have three colors in this, fair, medium, and dark, or something like that. And, um, today was the first day that I wore it, and honestly, <laughs> I love it. Um, the, oh my gosh, it's thicker than the Sonia Kashuk, but it's not greasy or oily, oily or anything, but it is thicker. And you don't need a whole bunch of product like at all. They give you this little um, spatula with it. You see, I don't know if you can see that here, but it's a little bitty spatula and honestly I didn't even need like the whole amount of this spatula. Like it's like the length of my uh, pinky nail. That's how long the spatula like dish is and I only needed like the very tip of it to cover both of my eyes. It blended amazing, guys. I love it so much. It didn't, it doesn't go into um, my, what is it, the wrinkles under my eyes. And let me give you like a, a close up. There's probably some fallout from my mascara, but like seriously, guys, if I were to do like a, a half and half of the Sony Kashuk one and this one, I'm not going to because I've already done my makeup for today. But you would, you'd be able to tell that if I were to have it like on this side, you would see the lines, you would see the wrinkles, you would see like it settles into your lines for some reason. And the girl that I watched said that it didn't do that and it was as good as the MAC one. And then I put this one on and it, it's been a good five, six or seven hours since I've had this on and I've been outside and it's, I'm in Texas so it's really hot. So the heat didn't affect it. And, oh my god, guys, I am, it's a, I love how it dries, it doesn't dry sticky. Like, I'm touching it, it doesn't dry sticky. Sonia Kashuk one does. Um, it doesn't move, it doesn't sink into your pores. It's amazing. The only thing is, I only recommend it for, um, under the eyes, because if you have maybe any, uh, acne, redness, it covers up. If you were to have, like, any acne, like, uh, oh, scabs, 
it's gross, but it's not going to cover that up. You're, you're, it's only going to um, dull it maybe, but it's not going to completely cover it up. Um, but oh my god guys, I love it. I'm in love with this concealer. It's $22 at Sephora. And considering the small amount that you have to use, it's worth it. Like this is going to last me forever. It's, I mean, it's, I got a uh, fair and it doesn't look like it's fair, but when you put it on, it's just odd. like, I would um, recommend you guys swatching it in the store. Um, and also use a moisturizer before you put it on because it may be drying. I used a moisturizer and a primer underneath this and uh, I love it. I'm in love with it. I'm so, 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 so glad that I bought this. This is my first benefit uh, product and I'm sold. I'm, I would love to go back and like buy their whole collection. Of course I can't do that, can't afford it, but I'm in love with it guys. Um, I would definitely recommend picking it up or looking into it. Um, I have like an oilier, oilier, God, I can't talk today, an oilier um, skin type, like I'm kind of in the middle. So usually when I put on a, a moisturizer, I get really oily, but um, it works, guys. It's, it's awesome. And it is a paste type uh, consistency. It's just really great, guys. I would definitely recommend going and picking up this uh, product. It's the Benefit Erase Paste Concealer. And um, I love it. I, I would recommend it. Um, I'm going to try to start doing makeup videos every Monday and maybe another video later on in the day or in the week, but um, let's try the makeup videos first. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, uh, comment, and, su and subscribe. Can't talk. And I will try to see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.